All right, Maya, so Baltimore Ravens find themselves in the news once again, as it seems very recently for all the right reasons. We got a report as the Ravens are finishing up minicamp of some really exciting news. I know Ravens fans will be extremely pumped about. Yeah, Nick, we talk about the Ravens. We think about all of the changes on the offensive side of the ball, high-powered offense, and some of their elite weapon, weapons. We all know Mark Andrews is a top-notch tight end for the Ravens. But the question I want to ask the Ravens fans today is, there's been a lot of great tight ends in Ravens history. So let us know in the comments below, who's your favorite Ravens tight end of all time? There's a lot of great answers. There's a, some guys battling for the top in, the, in my head as I think about it. So let me know in the comments below who you think the greatest Ravens tight end of all time is. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear word from our partner, and that is Neuro. They have a product that gives you a quick and easy boost of energy, helps us get through these podcasts. I love to use their mints or gum right before to give me that edge I need to finish out the task I'm doing. So stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear more about Neuro and their products and to get your hands on our special discount code. But Nick, nonetheless, Let's hear the news on the next greatest rookie out of the Ravens camp. Yeah, so if you look at the Ravens offense over the past few years, and I'm curious what your thoughts are on the other side of this. I always felt like they have to go through things the hard way, right? The way they move the ball and score, they got to physically overpower, they got to run through people, or they have to have Lamar Jackson do something ridiculous, or Mark Andrews has to do something ridiculously athletically, right? They almost have to do things the hard way. You know, a lot of big time offenses, you look at the Chiefs, the 49ers, it always seems to throw into wide open guys, guys who have all kinds of separation. They get 40 yards after catch and they just score a bunch of points. I feel like the Ravens haven't had that opportunity. Well, if you listen to this rep uh, this report out of Ravens minicamp from the offensive coordinator Munkin, it looks like those opportunities may be coming to Baltimore soon. If you want to throw up the report, my from sportsillustrated.com, I will read from it. With Lamar Jackson orchestrating the offense and having weapons in Odell Beckham Jr. and tight end Mark Andrews, as well as Flowers, the rookie, Baltimore can hit you from every angle. But when it comes to Flowers, getting a rookie involved in what looks to be a high-octane offense, on paper at least, can be challenging. But new offensive coordinator Todd Munkin knows how he will get Flowers involved. Uh, quote, I think whenever you acquire talent, you then assess where you can put those players in the best position to showcase that talent. Munkin said, uh, if you have a space player like Zay, you have to get creative in ways to get him the ball and showcase that. All right, Mice, at first glance, I think that kind of comes across as a little innocuous comment or like a big, duh, you got a guy who plays well in space, you got to put him in situations. But you'd be surprised. And I know a lot of Ravens fans, a lot of Greg Roman, a lot of interesting offensive schemes, I'll put it like that, where it's like, why aren't we doing some other things to be more explosive, to help our guys out, to help our receivers get open? They didn't do enough of that under Roman. You look at Matt Canada with the division rival Pittsburgh Steelers, a lot of the same complaints from the Steelers fan base uh, involving Matt Canada. An offensive coordinator sometimes has to keep it simple and understand, okay, we've got a guy that plays well in space. We're going to be creative with him. We're going to line him up all over the field. He'll line up in the slot. We'll send him in motion. We'll, we'll stack him behind other receivers. We will put him in opportunities to be successful and get wide open. Open. That's what the Chiefs do with Eric Bieniemy and Andy Reid. Obviously, Bieniemy left, but now with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, they do a lot of formations. They do a lot of shifts. They get people open. They scheme it, get guys wide open. Mahomes throws to a wide open guy. It's a touchdown, and everyone talks about how great Patrick Mahomes is, right? Lamar Jackson has not had that opportunity. I think bringing in Munkin and recognizing what he has in Zay Flowers could give Jackson those opportunities where he can just throw to a wide open guy who's been schemed open, who has the talent to separate, and then a big play comes out as a result of that. That's what's been missing from this Ravens offense. And the fact that Munkin is coming out and saying that right now, involving the rookie Zay Flyers, I think is an outstanding sign for the Baltimore Ravens offense going to 2023. Myers, give me your thoughts on this. What do you think of this development and everything with uh, Munkin, Flowers, and this uh, Ravens offense right now? Yeah, Nick, first of all, I don't think you give Greg Roman enough credit because he was extremely creative in ways that he gave the fullback Patrick Ricard the ball. I think he gave him the ball a number of different ways, and there's a lot of creativity to that. Yeah. I don't know if it was good creativity, if it was productive creativity, but it was creative nonetheless. I am finally excited to hear a coach say, okay, let's get creative with our young rookie playmaker wide receiver. I wish they would have been creative with Hollywood Brown. I wish they would have tried to give him the ball a little bit more. Maybe we'd have... A different situation in Baltimore but nonetheless I'm happy Zay Flowers is there I think he's a very explosive player and I like the quote a uh, little on down in this article uh, that Munkin says he says I think the more talented you are around the quarterback the less that they have to burden the less they have to take on the burden the less they have to shoulder the load because you're excited to get the football to others and they can utilize their skill sets I think that is very, very true, and I think that's what Jackson has had to do the last couple of years. He has not had as much talent around him, 
And so he's literally just had to shoulder the load every single time. You talk about how it seems very difficult for Baltimore to move the t- ball at times. They did it, but it seemed stressful every game. As a fan, you watch it, you see like third and eight, and you know they're going to go for it on fourth down as well. And so they run it on third and eight to get like a fourth and five. And then Jackson scrambles out to the right and hits like a 13 yard run to get the first down. But it's always stressful. It's always, it, they're not like second and shorts. They're not getting like second and threes and, you know, getting easy yardage. It never seemed easy. I think this new offense is going to be, as you said, more of like a uh, Patrick Mahomes style offense with Eric Bieniemy, where I hope they're getting or passing early and often they're getting Zay Flowers involved. They're getting more creative with the ball and they're able to move the ball more easily. That is what I foresee. That's what I've been hearing around the Ravens camp. And so I'm really excited to see how this offense flushes out because I think this is going to be a breath of fresh air for all of the Ravens fans. This is what they have wanted for a, such a long time now. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big time game winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment you were able to have some neuro gum NeuroGum will help you stay concentrated and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, You can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. 